Yeah. I'd like to ask um, uh, Amira Atta. Uh, you wrote in, in your piece, My Best Friend Was Killed and I Don't Know Why. You spoke about an incident in the fall uh, when you were at Yusor's uh, house. And uh, the neighbor, who is now the suspect in this killing, in fact, who turned himself in, uh, came and complained about the level of noise uh, that there was in that apartment. Could you talk about that incident? What happened that night last fall? Um, yes. Um, we were invited over um, to Yusuf and Ziyat's house for dinner. Ziyat had made us dinner. We went over there, and this was in the engagement period. We were still, you know, getting to know him and that type of stuff. And um, uh, after dinner, we were playing a game. It's called Risk. I'm not sure if everybody knows about it, oh, yeah. but it's a game. Um, that you basically, like, conquer the world. And so we were getting a little competitive, but we weren't that loud. Um, and the house is, like, where we were sitting. We were sitting in the living room. Like, there's still another bedroom on one side and another bedroom on the other side. So there's plenty of walls that are surrounded around us. Um, soon after we left, um, Yosur contacted us, and she told us, um, did my neighbor say anything to you guys when you guys left out? And we were like, no, we just left. We didn't see anybody. And she said, oh, my neighbor came to my doorstep, and he was holding a gun and was telling me that we were too loud and we woke up his wife. We told her, all of us that were there, it was four of us, we told her, call the police, tell them what happened. And she was debating whether she should or she shouldn't whether, you know, because she was like, he didn't really do anything. I don't know if I should make this a big deal. I'm not really sure what to do, that type of thing. And, you know, and she was so nice to him. Like, she was just explaining to him, you know, we weren't that loud, but I'm sorry. You know, if we were loud, I apologize for that. And um, I don't know, it was just a weird situation. So on Tuesday, as we're getting all of the phone calls and hearing all of the gossip and everybody's telling us, get to Chapel Hill, we had no idea what was going on. As I'm driving down there, I'm thinking if I thought only Ziyat was dead, honestly. I didn't think Yusur had died, and I didn't know Razan was involved. Driving there, I was like, if Ziyat was shot, the neighbor had to do it. I knew automatically <clears throat> because I thought immediately who would do something like this to them? It was their neighbor. She complains about him to her parents. Um, he I don't know if he's, how many times he's threatened her. Her dad knows more. But she wasn't comfortable staying there. And she used to always try to convince, you know, one of us, if we finished class at State, to come to Chapel Hill and spend time with her so she wouldn't be alone all the time. So I'm not really sure if that was just a fear or she didn't want to be alone. But, I mean, she knew that it wasn't really safe there with that neighbor that tends to come to her house holding a gun. Like, if I had a problem with my neighbor, I might write a letter you know, put it on their doorstep or on their car, but I wouldn't go to my neighbor holding a gun. Did she say he ever, did she feel that he <clears throat> felt anger or hatred towards them because they were Muslim? Yes, of course. Um, she was saying because they were different, she felt that she was hated. Um, and she didn't know why, because she's such a sweet and calm person. She didn't understand why anyone, you know, wouldn't like her. So it didn't make sense to her. And we told her it's probably because you wear a scarf, you wear a hijab, and you are a Muslim. So people, some people are, you know, ignorant and they are going to not like you because of what you represent, because people think that Islam is a bad thing. But I mean, not all Muslims are bad Muslims. Huh. So. Emirata, we want to thank you for being with us. Again, our condolences. Best friend of Yusur Abu Salah. Um, we're going to link to your piece at fusion.net. My best friend was killed, and I don't know why. And Professor Omid Safi, thank you for being with us, director of Duke University's Islamic Studies Center. Um, the three young people are being buried today in Raleigh. Again, 19-year-old uh, Razan Mohammed Abu Salah, her 21-year-old sister Yusur, and her new husband, 23-year-old uh, Dia Barakat, all killed on Tuesday. This is Democracy Now!